Plastic waste is a huge problem. Over 9 billion tons have been produced since the 1950s and only about 9% is recycled. Every piece of plastic ever made still exists somewhere. What if some plastics could be made from plants instead of oil, and even break down safely? Enter bioplastics, a new family of materials aimed at reducing our reliance on fossil fuels and cutting pollution. This video will explain what bioplastics are, how they are classified, and where you see them in the real world. Bioplastics aren't one single material but a whole family of plastics made from renewable plant sources and or able to biodegrade. In fact, by definition a plastic is called a bioplastic if it is either bio-based, made from plants, or biodegradable, or both. Bio-based means the material's carbon comes from living plants, for example from corn starch, sugarcane, cellulose or other biomass. Biodegradable means microbes can break it down into natural substances like water, carbon dioxide, and compost. It's important to note that these properties are independent, a plastic can be plant-based without decomposing easily, and vice versa in summary. Bioplastics are plastics made from plants, or that nature can break down, or both. We can classify bioplastics along two axes, source, bio-based versus fossil-based, and end-of-life, biodegradable versus non-biodegradable. In practice, bioplastics fall into three main categories, bio-based, non-biodegradable, made from renewable plants but not compostable. For example, bio-PE or bio-PET are chemical copies of polyethylene, PE, or PET but derived from sugarcane or other biomass. These behave just like conventional plastics, they won't break down in nature, they just reduce fossil use. Biodegradable. Plastics that microbes can eat under the right conditions. These might come from plants or even from oil. The key is their chemistry, they'll eventually convert to water, carbon dioxide, etc. Please note, 100% bio-based plastics might still be non-biodegradable, and some fossil plastics can biodegrade. Both bio-based and biodegradable, made from plants and able to compost. Classic examples include PLA, polylactic acid, and PHA, polyhydroxyalkanoates, these come from corn or sugar and will break down in industrial composting facilities. Many compostable utensils and packaging films fall into this group. So where do we see bioplastics in action? One of the biggest uses is food and drink packaging. For example, PLA is commonly used for disposable cups, plates, food containers, and lids. You'll often see compostable or PLA labeling on cafe cups and clamshell takeout boxes. In fact, large brands like McDonald's and Starbucks have started using PLA-coated cups in areas with compostable wear regulations. Coca-Cola even has its plant bottle, a pet bottle made up to 30% from plant materials. Another familiar example is compostable bags and cutlery. Supermarkets and restaurants use bags made from vegetable starch or PLA instead of oil-based plastic. In summary, bioplastics are an emerging family of plastics that either come from renewable plants or can biodegrade, or both. They offer the potential to reduce fossil fuel use and carbon footprint, and in some cases can be composted at end of life. That said, proper disposal is key, compostable items need industrial composting facilities, and bio-based plastics should still be recycled if possible. As consumers and professionals, we can look out for certified bioplastic products and proper waste handling. If you found this explanation useful, hit like and subscribe for more science and sustainability videos. Drop a comment below. What bioplastic item have you used or seen? Thanks for watching, and remember, every small switch helps the planet.